Um, Tennessee has a really good football team. Uh, I think all three of their, all three parts of their team present challenges. Um, have a ton of respect for how they play, um, the tempo on offense, but the physicality of the run game paired with the explosive plays, the vertical shots, and the perimeter concepts uh, can be very challenging. And I think defensively, they continue to get better. We've played them uh, each year since we've been here, and I do think they've done a really good job on that side of the ball. Personnel and fundamentals, um, you know, it's, it's – uh, Statistically, if you look at the numbers there, they're, they're at the top of our league in most categories. And then I do think they do a nice job in the kicking game. Uh, it's evident they play really hard, uh, and I think they're sound in what they do, and they've been very productive. So going to play in Knoxville against a team that, in my opinion, has a ton of uh, capability and certainly has been impressive so far this year. I know they struggled a little bit last week, but – in our league right now, heck, uh, each week um, is like an NFL game. You know, it's coming down to the last second. So um, we've got respect for Tennessee. Obviously, this is a rivalry game, one that has a ton of history and tradition. You know, I grew up watching this game and certainly have a ton of family dynamics here in terms of uh, having history with this game. So um, I hope it's not a track meet, you know. But um, – Ultimately, you, when you play Tennessee, you know there's going to be an element of strategy in regards to keeping up, you know, and how do you do that? Do you? I think last year we were able to play complementary football in the game, and I think there's a, a component to that. But now, look, points are a premium, right? You do what you got to do to score. So, again, I go back to what I said in the opening statement. This is not just an offensive football team. I mean, I think they've got they got they're pretty good on defense, in my opinion, uh, personnel, and I think in the kicking game, their history there, they've they've had some success. So they're they're ranked and they've been highly regarded in the preseason for a lot of reasons, and I think ultimately that's what I see on tape. Tennessee's quarterback Nico and what type of challenges does he present? Yeah, I mean he's a unicorn, man. He's a this guy's six six. You know, I don't know how much he weighs, but he's a big athletic. I mean, he's ripping balls in the outside third, 15, 20 yards deep. You know, he's throwing it all the vertical shots. He's got big-time arm. He's accurate. He can escape, extend. He's just a young player who's getting experience, and he'll continue to get better. But um, a lot of hype around him, and I think on the tape it's kind of you can see why.